It is midday at 5-1, to one, and let's see how the mayor goes into the gate. Here's Trevor Denman with the call. All set now for the Emirates Airline turf. Heels sent on their mile and one-half journey. Quicker center stride as Dean's Kitten along the inside, but they're all lining up for the lead here. There goes Await the Dawn now, and Await the Dawn is the new leader. On the far side, midday, and the pink cap is going up and joins second. Brilliant Speed and Teeks North are in there as well. Here's St. Nicholas Abbey down at the rail. Now they're slowing it right down up front. St. Nicholas Abbey just two and a half off them. Then back to the filly, Sarafina. She's pretty keen to go on. She's taken a strong hold in the green colours. Only four and a half off the leaders. No pace on up there at all. Stately Victor has taken back to be second last. And that'll leave Sea Moon as the trailer. Eight lengths would cover the lot. So they come to the stop of the stretch. First time round in the Emirates Airline Turf. And out on the lead is Await the Dawn in front by just over a length. Dean's Kitten is tracking from second. Midday in the pink cap moving up alongside of that. On the outside we have Brilliant Speed in the red cap. Only two lengths separates these first four. Dean's Kitten now going to turn the pressure on a little. St. Nicholas Abbey's in a perfect spot in fifth. Just three lengths off the leaders. Serafina a little more relaxed but still pretty keen to go on in the green. She's no more than three and a half off the leader. Teeks North is scraping the rail on the inside. They've been followed then by Sea Moon who's second last. And State Director Trails six lengths would cover the line. Onto the back stretch they go. And it is still Await the Dawn and Julian Laparu just in front now as Dean's Kitten is putting a little pressure on them. On the far side we have Brilliant Speed in third. Inside of that comes Midday just loping along in fourth. Now Sarafina in the green between runners, two lengths off the leaders. Then it's St. Nicholas Abbey on the inside, tweaked north. On the far side of those two comes Sea Moon, only three and a half off the leaders. And still the trailer, Stately Victor. They're going to have to turn this one into a sprint for home now. It is still Await the Dawn, the leader. Let's see who's the first to make a move. Here comes Brilliant Speed now. Brilliant Speed on the outside. Dean's Kitten between them. Serafina's travelling nicely right behind them. And Sea Moon crying out for who's Sea Moon hooks to the grandstand side. With a white face, here comes Sea Moon now. But got first runners, Brilliant Speed. Brilliant Speed down the centre. St. Nicholas Abbey with a late run. Serafina could not quicken with him. Is trying to come on late. But it's St. Nicholas. Nicholas Abbey, St. Nicholas Abbey, history in the making, St. Nicholas Abbey, Joey O'Brien for his father, Aidan O'Brien, history is made, St. Nicholas Abbey wins, second will be Sea Moon, third will be Brilliant Speed, and Sarafina had to settle for fourth on the afternoon. It's Father's Day at the Breeders' Cup, can you believe that? 18-year-old Joseph O'Brien given the mount by his father, Aiden O'Brien, the world-class trainer, and he delivers him a Breeders' Cup championship. Janine is standing by with the proud dad. And congratulations all around.